skeletons it's disney queen skelly here welcome back to another disney trivia so how this works is i let the timer go like i have the question let the timer go write down my answer pause it and then i show you guys so let's do this answer along with me if you can round one Remember to shout out your answers so the scorekeeper can hear you. Get ready to shout out your answers. <laughs> and the first question is... In Finding Nemo, what is Nemo's dad's name? Marlin. It's Marlin. Hmm, sounds fishy to me. <laughs> Whose picture does Rafiki paint on a tree trunk in The Lion King? Simba. Simba's picture. Did you know that one? What is the name of Pinocchio's conscience? Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> that was a toughie. In Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, who is the rightful captain of the Black Pearl? Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah. So, did you get the right answer? Which of Snow White's seven dwarves is speechless? Dopey. And the answer is... Dopey. Wow! This is exciting! What living doll suggests everyone find a moving buddy? Woody! Why, it's Woody, partner. That was my answer, too. That's the end of the round. Ready for the next round? Ready! All right, here we go. Remember to shout out your answers. Where is Aladdin when Jafar tricks him into finding the lamp? The palace dungeon, the desert, or the market? The palace dungeon. The palace dungeon. Spooky. At the end of Dumbo's story, Timothy Mouse signs Dumbo to a big contract to work in what city? New York, Chicago, or Hollywood? Hollywood. Dumbo heads to Hollywood. Hooray for the good guys! Hooray! Where's the story of the Jungle Book set? Africa, India, or Australia? So, if you guys haven't caught on at this point, I have actually already taken this quiz before on my previous channel of Harley Baby. However, it has been a while since I have taken this quiz, so you can hate me in the comment section down below. Um, but if you guys remember when I took the last Disney trivia, I had mentioned that I had gotten this question on a previous trivia game with Harley Baby on our first channel and gotten it right. This was the trivia uh, game that we played. So the answer is India. India. Oh, I knew that. In Lady and the Tramp, where does Tramp take Lady to try to get that horrible old muzzle off her? The zoo, the police station, or the hospital? The zoo. The zoo. Aww. Where in North America does the story of Pocahontas take place? California, Florida, or Virginia? I also answered this question already, so... Virginia. And the answer is... Virginia. Did you get it right? Oh, boy. In Toy Story 2, who almost gets sold at a yard sale? Wheezy. Wheezy. Wow, this is exciting. Next round. Oh, boy, I can hardly wait to get going. Gorge, no wait at all. In A Bug's Life, who says... How about a nice, tasty worm on a stick? Heimlich. That would be Heimlich. Who explains what Ohana means in Lilo and Stitch? 
Nani? Nani. Well, what do you know? That was my answer, too. In The Lion King. Sorry, before we continue, I actually was guessing on that one because I wasn't sure if I had previously guessed Nani and got it wrong or guessed Nani and got it right. So I was actually throwing that back again to see if I had actually gotten it right. Who says you gotta put your behind in your past? Pumba. Pumba. <laughs> <laughs> In Monsters, Inc., who says, book lay in the Ag Bay? That was Sully. Last time I played this, I had accidentally guessed Mike, but then we had actually gotten it wrong, and it, it was Sully. <laughs> Sully, a.k.a. James P. Sullivan. Who says, I can move, I can talk? Pinocchio. Hint. He's got a nose for trouble. It's Pinocchio, of course. Righty roo. <laughs> In Toy Story, who says to infinity and beyond? Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. Did you know that one? I think. All set to begin the next round? You betcha. <laughs> In a bug's life, who runs the circus? P.T. Flea. Presenting P.T. Flea. Did you get it? A nod to P.T. Barnum. Right. In the story of Aladdin, who discovers the Cave of Wonders? Jafar. Jafar. I bet you knew that one. Well, that was my answer, too. In the story of Beauty and the Beast, what is the name of the candelabra? Lumiere. His name is Lumiere. Name four of Winnie the Pooh's friends. Piglet, Kanga, Tigger, and Rabbit. Any four of the following will count. Tigger, Eeyore, Rabbit, Kanga, Roo, Lumpy, Piglet, Owl, or Christopher Robin. So, uh, did you get it right or wrong? In the story of Monsters, Inc., what is the name of the human child who gets into the monster world? Mary, a.k.a. Boo. Yes, I wanted to be extra. The child's name is Boo. Mulan's dragon friend is named Mushu. What's so unusual about his breath? So when Harley Baby and I first played this on our main channel, we actually didn't understand what they had meant, so we got this question wrong. But because now I know it, he breathes fire. <laughs> Mushu can breathe fire. Which is super weird, because how is that unusual for a dragon? Dragons breathe fire. All set to begin the next round? Hold on to your hats! <laughs> In 101 Dalmatians, what kind of creature is Lucy? I believe she is a cow. This is still a guess for me. I actually forgot who Lucy was. And the answer is... A goose. Well, what do you know? Lucy Goosey. Oh. Aladdin's Princess Jasmine must be 18 when she chooses a husband. True or false? False. She has to be 16. False. She must choose a husband at 16. In Beauty and the Beast, who rescues Belle and her father from the cellar? Cut. That was Chip. Gosh, that's a tricky one. It's Chip to the rescue. Did you get that one right? 
What sort of birds encourage Dumbo to fly? Crows. Crows. What are the names of the hero mice in The Rescuers? It's funny because when Harley Baby and I first, first took this, she got one name but had trouble getting the other. So I gave her a minute and the poor thing was just racking her brain. She could not figure out who it was. But the answer is Bernard and Bianca. Their names are Bianca and Bernard. Oh, I knew that. The price tag on the Mad Hatter's hat is for 10 and 6. 10 shillings and 6 pence. True or false? That is 100% true. True, and that's not cheap. I bet you knew that one. You took the answer right out of my mouth. <laughs> Ready for the next round? Ready! All right, here we go. In the Hunchback of Notre Dame, Clopin is MC of what festival? Festival of Fools. The Festival of Fools. <laughs> what is the name of the fox's best friend in The Fox and the Hound? If I remember right, Harley Baby didn't know this one either, but she got it like last second. Also, the uh, Festival of Fools. I have the song Topsy Turvy on my phone, and every time the name gets mentioned, it gets stuck in mine and hubby's head, and right now it is glued into my brain. By the way, it's copper. His name is Copper. I bet you knew that one. With what fruit do you associate Barbosa in Pirates of the Caribbean? When we took this, I know I'm like going back, I'm telling like a bunch of stories from when we previously did this, but when we previously did this, I actually made a shot in the dark answer and got it right. It's an apple. The answer is apples. And it's funny because Barbosa is Harley Baby's favorite character in Pirates of the Caribbean, while mine is Jack Sparrow, Captain Jack Sparrow. So I figured she'd actually know it, but well. Did you get it right? Not to mention, I've only ever seen the first Pirates of the Caribbean, and I don't even remember it. I need to actually watch all of them because I feel like such a disgrace for not watching them. Who does Belle call positively primeval in Beauty and the Beast? Who else but the lovely Gaston? It's Gaston. That was a toughie. Who warns Princess Aurora not to speak with strangers in the forest? I am like 99% sure it was Fauna. Oh, wait, no. I think it's Meriwether. Well, I already wrote my answer down. The Good Fairy Flora. It was Flora. Crap. All right, all right. So, did you get the right answer? No, and that's my favorite princess movie. Whose sword does Wart leave at the inn by mistake? This one I still don't remember. Like, I know the character, but I don't remember his name, so I'm gonna mark myself wrong. Like, I, I really don't remember the guy's name. Sir Kays. Gosh, that's a tricky one. And that's the end. Alright, so out of those questions I was asked, because they didn't give me a specified number, I only missed three. Which honestly isn't that bad, especially since I have taken this quiz before. I, I thought I was going to get a hundred percent, but you know, even still, like you, it's like it's like studying for a quiz, right? You take the quizzes before, and then you take them again, or like you study for them, and then you take them, and even then, you really can't remember what the answers were. So you take your best like shot in the dark and hope that you actually get it right, which is you know why I still got three wrong. So yeah, this is technically a cheater's quiz, or cheater's trivia, I'm sorry. 
But if you guys take this quiz for yourself, how many answers did you get wrong? Or what answer, what questions were you stumped on? I'd love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.